Hi guys, Jordan here. Um, so something that's been pissing me off recently is obviously we have COVID-19. Um, we have government restrictions on like gatherings and we've obviously had um, auctions. So property auctions um, forbidden, at least in-person auctions, not online auctions. Um, and what's been happening is that has resulted in um, kind of less properties being sold at auctions, would you believe? Wow. But um, it appears to me at least that the, the two main authorities on kind of auctions, um, domain.com.au and realestate.com.au might be lying um, about the clearance rates that are happening. So um, obviously lower clearance rates mean uh, and actually Domain has it on their website, lower, lower auction clearance rates mean weak buyer demand, slowing property market, oversupply of available properties and market moving in favour of buyers. Um, so domain.com.au and realestate.com.au benefit from a higher um, clearance rate because there's more people buying, more people listing things on their websites, that kind of thing, um, more ad revenue from them. Um, they benefit when the market is strong, just like every other company. Um, but what's happening here, um, so if you look on Domain's website, what does auction clearance rate mean? It means the property sold at auction divided by the total number of auctions, and that gives you the clearance rate in, in a percentage. Um, so how many properties sold over the amount of auctions? quite a simple calculation. So then you go to the results for this week. So I'm in Melbourne, so I'm gonna use the Melbourne results. We have a 57% clearance rate. So that is um, the total amount of auctions was 143, the amount sold was 59. Now if you think about that, 59 over 143 is not 57%. That's, it's almost a third, it's nowhere near 57%. So for some reason, what they're doing is they're going the total amount sold over the confirmed results. So there, there's a discrepancy of, I don't know, I'm not doing maths, uh, 50. So 50, we don't know the results. It's likely they were withdrawn or whatever, but they obviously didn't sell. But if you look at the total auctions scheduled, 143, total amount sold, 59. 59 over 143 is not 57%. That is wrong. Um, and then if you go on realestate.com.au, same thing, 70 sold at auction, 172 auctions scheduled, 64% clearance, clearance rate. That is definitely, 70 over 172 is definitely less than half. So um, they're doing something with the numbers here and it's, it's misleading, at least in my opinion. Um, and yeah, it's really been annoying me um, because it's trying to create like this false consumer confidence being like, yeah, if you if you schedule an, au an auction, there's a 64% clearance rate. So you're, it, it's a lot more likely than not likely to sell, uh, which is not true because 70 over 172, it's actually less than likely that it's going to sell. That's just how percentages work. Um, fix it, please. That's quite annoying. Thanks for listening. Bye.